Today I have the pleasure of speaking to one of my absolutely most favorite people on Bay Street, Peter Clausey from CBLT. How are you today, Peter? I'm good, Tracy, and how are you doing? Peter, CBLT has always touted not only transparency, but how the pen is mightier, mightier than the sword and or a very big wallet. So let's start with the Chilton Cobalt deal. Okay? okay, you just announced a payment for the Chilton, uh, Chilton Cobalt deal. Let's yep. talk about this. So we say that the pen, you can make as much money with the pen as you can with the drill bit. In the mining world, M&A uh, can yield a great yield for the shareholders. And we are proof of that. We've been around since 2011, 70 million shares out, never did a consolidation. We've been able to raise hard dollars through M&A while preventing dilution to the shareholders. We raise money for flow through, which is what the way you should be doing it. Chilton Cobalt is an asset we acquired in 2016. Did a fair bit of work on it in 16 and 17. It's in Quebec, on the highway, just north of Montreal. Lots of infrastructure available and easy to access. But honestly, it's a pain having one property in Quebec. Either have a portfolio or get rid of it. Uh, some people came to me looking for a near drill ready project and Chilton Cobalt is near drill ready. Uh, you've heard the story many times about us having a drill rig on the highway. So we've had the geos go look at the property. A uh, little bit of work is needed to update it to make it drill ready. We've optioned it off for a very good price. Uh, and part of the option agreement is a payment to us, which has taken place. And a certain amount of work has to be done by September of 23. And they're looking at doing that work so they can then get that property or that company listed on its own using Chilton Cobalt as the listing asset. So we're pretty excited about that. So everyone at Investor Intel Land, you're hearing this is very much an M&A structured company. And you revealed earlier today, and of course, this is public information about a dividend for yep. investors out there that have CBLT shares. Can you give us an update on that? Sure. The optionee of Chilton Cobalt wants to go public. To do that, it's going to clear a prospectus. Our, we have special warrants that they're going to clear in the prospectus that then become common shares. Our press release has announced that we will declare a dividend after the option E clears its prospectus. So we have not declared it yet, which means anybody who owns shares in CBLT up to that date will catch the dividend. So buying shares today gets you the dividend for free. Also, and you know, this is the reason why people should attend Investor Talks. We had a wonderful investor ask you about your favorite, your personal favorite projects, because you have a wide spectrum of projects with CBLT. And you said you like Shatford Lake. Can you tell yeah. us why? Shatford Lake is in the neighborhood of the Tanko Mine. Now, it's shocking how many people in mining don't know about the Tanko Mine. I didn't until I found it through Shatford Lake a few years ago. The Tanko mine was discovered in 1929, intermittent operation till 1969. Then it ran from 69 to 2017, when inexplicably, the Canadian government allowed it to be sold to China. It produced cesium, beryllium, and tantalum. But most interesting to me, it is the world's richest source of lithium, and very few people have ever heard of it. It has no outcropping, the entire mine is one giant pelisite or a giant crystal. It's about a mile long, a half mile thick, 400 feet wide. And they've been hacking away at that thing since 1929. When production stopped in 17, when it was sold to the Chinese government, there are lots of rumors going around about what was going on. In fact, we talked about it here one day, Tracy, and Jack thought that they were mining the spotamine in the area and not the pelisite itself. The latest rumor mill is that the Chinese government has installed a lithium circuit and they're actually processing the lithium tailings underground, which are the richest lithium, which is the richest lithium in the world. Solars in Bolivia run 800, 900 parts per million, and we get all excited about that. The spotamine near Thunder Bay runs about 200 parts per million. We get excited about that, but you need huge volume to make that work. The tailings underground at the Tanko are running 27,000 parts per million. 
and that's our neighbor. So we did an exploration program last year, shortened by forest fire. We got a whiff of the good elements. We have a team back in there right now doing the mapping work necessary to support a strong exploration program. So any whiff of beryllium, tantalum, cesium, lithium could have a serious inflection on the valuation of the company. Okay. So one more question here, because there are numerous deals. We're all following you, Peter. And one of the deals that you made recently that was kind of, I thought, very creative is a, a revenue company that you've invested in called Syscom. Now, we're all very interested to find out how that's going. What's happening with that? I know that's a little off the beaten path, but every year the shareholders at the AGM instruct management, if you can diversify a little away from mining to avoid the cyclic boom and bust, do that. So Syscom came to us in October of 2020 looking for, for some assistance. We invested $10 into Syscom. Uh, since then, we've harvested $290,000 from Syscom and added about $1,050,000 on our balance sheet. Syscom itself has been raising money at 55 cents a share. So if we did a mark to market, that'd be about two and a half million dollars on our balance sheet. Syscom is currently clearing a prospectus with the Ontario Securities Commission, and we have a reasonable expectation it'll be trading in November of this year. So for everybody following critical minerals, battery materials, magnetic materials, CBLT has it all. Peter, as always, it's a pleasure. Thank you for the update. Thanks, Tracy. Hope to see you soon.